What's going on guys? So right now I am at Fresco Imas, which is like a little I don't even know how to describe it. I mean it's a grocery store in uh in Miami. I don't know if it's anywhere else really. Um but definitely Miami. Anyways, that's besides the point. Uh today I'm gonna do the second episode of Shadow's Kitchen. Um I mean a lot of people have been asking for it, but the first video did so bad that I didn't make any more. Um but I kinda wanna do it now. And you know it's content not really that big a deal i've been making a lot of videos and this is just another one if the video does bad it doesn't really matter because it's still producing a video and some people will enjoy it and that's all that matters um but i think today's video is going to be pretty good because i'm going to be feeding all the monitors um all the carnivorous animals that i have um and i'm going to see i'm going to go in there and see what ingredients i could get uh, obviously I'm not gonna be feeding the snakes and all that. I'm not sure exactly where I'm gonna go with this I think that all I could do is really feed the three monitors um, Maybe some of the the yellow foots. I could feed the yellow foots too um, But anyways, you'll see um, What I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go buy some groceries and set up some meals for these animals Before I do that though, I'm gonna finish my breakfast. These animals eat better than I do I'm eating a chicken nugget and drinking a coffee. That's probably just pure sugar all right, let's go now. Wearing the mask Miami style. No, I'm just playing, but let's go in the store and get these ingredients. There we go, romaine lettuce for the tortoises, pineapple for me. There we go, I got three things. Dead cow for the monitors, tortoise, uh, some romaine lettuce for the tortoises. I grow most of their food. This isn't the only thing they eat. And this for me. Um, pineapple's kind of shitty though. It is what it is. It's fine though. It's cheap. Um, but yeah, that's all gonna get. Pretty crazy. This pound of beef. I don't really know if it's a pound, but this shit's heavy. Um, oh, five ninety nine a pound. So it's it's like a little bit over two pounds of beef. Fifteen ninety three. But because I had a rewards thing, I got it for three bucks. Um. That's pretty crazy. I don't know why it's such a big difference, but this whole thing was only $4. All right, so I went into that store eating chicken nuggets and drinking uh, mocha, coffee, um, and I left eating pineapples and drinking water. So definitely left a lot healthier than before. And this is still McDonald's water, so I'm sure it's still unhealthy, but uh, definitely better than a coffee. All right, so I'm editing the video right now, eating a little bit of arroz con leche. And I just wanted to mention that uh, this red meat, you don't want to feed too much like beef and stuff. Uh, if you want to do this with your lizards, I recommend using ground beef instead. The store didn't have that, which is why I got the ground beef. Um, I never, I don't, I rarely feed ground beef. Um, I think I've only fed it that one, this one time when I made the video and then one other time before this. Um, but it's not something that you want to feed because it, it's not too healthy for them. And um, yeah, if you want to do this, uh, look for some ground turkey. That would be much better um things like that so yeah thanks for watching all right here we go other two ingredients two eggs well these aren't ingredients but this is what i'm going to use to mix it now all i'm going to do is mix these together a little bit of eggshell uh, i'm actually not going to put the eggshell uh sometimes i leave the eggshell in and that gives them calcium, but I'm not gonna do that today because today I'm gonna use the powder instead. Fuck. All right, there we go. Made a whole mess, but here's what it is. Maybe I'll just give this to the monitor to see what he does with it. I just wanna mix these up, make a nice paste for these animals. And I've never actually done this, but I've seen a lot of people do it. And it seems pretty good for the animals. Um, I know a lot of pet shops near my area over here do it for their lizards. Now I don't feed this much to my savanna monitor and my tree monitor because I feed them mostly insects. Uh, but I am gonna be giving them, well, they all eat a lot of insects, but um, the, black, er, the savanna and black tree monitor eat mostly insects. Uh, they rarely get meat and Things like that, but it's gonna be good for them. I always like throw in maybe once a week, uh, either like a little mouse, 
or um or maybe not a whole mouse uh, once a week but a little bit of meat and sometimes a mouse or an egg just for a little bit extra protein and the mouse is good for calcium as well now a little bit of calcium powder in here and there we go now how many of you guys would eat this right here made by me this is a special dish made by Shadows Reptiles. So you want one, hook me up. I'll make you this. It's only uh, $500 a bite. $500 a bite. So let's get to it. So I'm going to put the water monitor's food in here. Actually, let me wash it off because it's a little bit of dirt. Um, but I'm going to put it in here so that he doesn't kick it up too much. And hopefully the sides keep most of it in here. So the water monitor is going to get the largest portion of this. A little bit, very little for the black tree monitor. Savannah monitor is going to get a bit more. And um, then the rest I'll just feed to the tortoises. So there he is. What's up, buddy? Come on here. Come on. Look. Yeah, he already knows what's up. You can see that he's flicking his tongue. He's like, oh shit, we brought me dinner. Come on, you know you want some. Uh, let me see where the tongues are so that I can get him a little bit of a taste. Just getting some followers on Instagram. Make sure you guys go check me out on Instagram at Shadows Reptiles. But come on. <laughs> Have you ever seen a water monitor eat like this? What are you doing, dude? Come on, get out of there. Come on. Oh, by the way, if you follow me on Instagram, I recently posted a video of me hand feeding him roaches. Uh, so that was pretty cool. Um, that was the first time I tried it with them. I do it all the time with my black tree monitor. Obviously, I don't want them associating my hands with food. So I don't do it too often. But uh, he was actually very gentle with me. And he just grabbed the roaches. He did bite me a little bit, like just a nip on the tip of my finger. But it was uh, completely by accident. And he was not aggressive with it at all. Look at that. How cool is this lizard? Can't wait for him to be like six feet. I don't actually know if it's a male or a female. I'm hoping male so that it's bigger. Uh, I'm guessing my savannah monitor is a female because it's on the smaller side, but I also don't know. I haven't sexed them. Haven't looked into sexing them because I don't really need to because uh, I'm not planning on breeding these guys. Maybe in the future I'll breed water monitors. Maybe, probably not. Uh, but that would be like five years from now when I get my own place. Uh, that I have big enclosures because I want to make them a huge enclosure in the future with a big pond inside of it and everything. Maybe I'll get a female uh, to breed with them or a male depending because I don't even know if it's a male or female. But yeah, these guys are awesome. And this uh, lizard's actually wild caught. He was imported as a baby. Uh, that's what the previous owner told me. And I think that's pretty cool that he's so tame and he's doing great for a wild caught lizard. Obviously, when you catch him as a baby, it's going to be a lot easier to tame them up. Uh, than if it was a wild caught adult. Uh, I don't know if a water monitor would ever really be completely tame if you can't get him as an adult, but it's definitely gonna be a lot more work. It's gonna be a lot more dangerous than uh, if you get a baby. Not that I ever recommend anybody to get wild caught animals. Not only does it suck to take these animals out of their natural habitat, but they also could come with parasites. They may not adapt to captivity and just die off because of stress. Lots of... Uh, bad things mostly for on the animal side obviously the that's the you could lose the animal a lot easier if it's a wild caught animal all right there we go just 10 seconds nothing interested happened 
or interesting happened. He just did that pretty much. So, so cool. And this guy, he is so chill. Um, when I open this up, he'll come up here and sit on my lap. Um, after a little bit, he does like to try to get away and just walk around the, the house. And he runs away from me because he doesn't want to be put in his cage. But since he's such a big lizard, I really don't have much of a problem in letting him wander around because he can't really get lost. And if he does, I'll be able to get him very, I, I'll be able to find him again very easily. So hopefully... Um, the next week or so, I'll finally make the swimming with video that I want to do with him. Take him outside and swim in the pool. And I know what you're thinking, oh, it's the pool, that's not good for them. Uh, but I, I'm remaking the pool, so it's not going to be chlorinated at all. Um, that's why I'm, I only got pretty much this one, this one week to do these videos. After that, the pool is going to be normally chlorinated and all that. Uh, so I'm going to be doing as many as I can, uh, with these animals. So it's going to be fun. Never done it before. And uh, this guy is probably going to be the, the most trouble because I probably got to get him on a leash or something because I wouldn't want him to try to escape. Um, I wouldn't really think that he would try to, but I know that I've taken him outdoors before. The only time that anything happened was because um, there was an empty water bottle on top of a table and the wind picked it up and it threw it and it landed right next to him and it freaked him out. He started running. And uh, then my dog saw that, started chasing him. And my dog's a pug, you know, it's not a big dog or anything. So we don't have done anything. Uh, but obviously I was screaming at my dog to stop because I, I was more scared that this guy was going to bite my dog. Um, but uh, I did end up catching him, obviously, because he's right here. And it just spooked him, not nothing too big. Uh, but now what I want to mention is, you can see when we started feeding him, he had these little uh, rolls. Look how fat he is now. That's... Uh, how you know how much you want to feed him. Uh, I'm probably going to let him finish this off. He's going to get real fat. Um, I might actually not let him finish. Well, there, there he has a little bit of the rose again, you see, now that he uh, sat up. So, you know, this, he could still eat a little bit more. And you got to wait and keep eating your, your food. Don't, don't look for anything else. Um, then you just got to wait till that goes back down and he's skinny and then you feed him again. But he is getting huge. So proud of this guy. I can't wait to let him uh, to let him outside in a big enclosure. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, I'm definitely going to build him one in this house for outdoors. But uh, I'm probably just going to wait till it gets warmer again because winter is going to be coming in the next few months. So might as well just wait till he's uh, uh, till winter passes and then build him the outdoor enclosure. Because if I build it now, he's not even going to be able to enjoy it that much. But I did build this enclosure recently, and as you can see, it's pretty big. He has his tub over there. Um, but yeah, he's enjoying it. He'll probably be in here good for another six months or so. Um, maybe not. Depends how much he grows. But we'll see. This is obviously my first water monitor. Uh, so I'm not completely sure on the on the pace that they grow. But so far, he hasn't grown like a crazy amount. He de He's definitely gotten a lot bigger since I got him, but not something that I can't handle. In the amount of time that he grew not i would be able to handle a full-grown water monitor too but um definitely want to keep him indoors as much as possible for now um i also like to tame them up in here that's why i have my bit my rhino iguanas over there um my cuban rock iguanas they already graduated so they're outdoors they're already tamed that i could have them pretty much free walking around in the yard and it's not going to be a problem at all so that's the level that i want to get to with them and then that's when I take them outdoors because I don't want them to be able to escape, you know. And this guy, very smart lizard. He's pretty much escaped from every single enclosure that I've ever put him in. The only one that he hasn't been able to escape was this one because of the way I designed it. I gave it a whole inch here so that the door, he would have no way of being able to sneak his claws in and pull it open. that he's getting chunky it's a fat boy huh you like that meal buddy oh you don't like that i'm sorry oh, uh, oh no all right so uh looks like he doesn't want any more i might just leave it in here and um a little bit more so i just want him to finish this off uh, because i made a lot so i let him finish and then i'll probably 
probably like three days before I feed him something else. Uh, but we'll see depending how fast he digests it. Watch out. Don't get in there if you're going to come outside because you're going to make a whole mess. All right, so he was just trying to walk out, but I don't want him walking around right now because um, I'm going to go feed the other animals outside. Something that I wanted to mention um, that I think was pretty cool is that I usually let him walk out uh, when he was in that enclosure as well, but he never wanted to go in there uh, again afterwards. In this enclosure, he's actually wanted to go in by himself because uh, I closed it after he uh, walks out and he was like trying to get in. So I think that's pretty cool. That means that he's pretty happy with his enclosure. And I noticed that he also doesn't try to get out as much as he used to when he was in that enclosure. Uh, really, I don't know much of the difference because I'm using the same exact things. In that enclosure, the only thing is that it's a little bit longer. So I think it's cool that he's chilling. But look at that. Look how fat he is. I, I love to see that um, he's nice and full. Now here's the next guy. So you can see, already eager to eat. This guy's always asking for food. Uh, he always walks up to me. Um, if you guys have been following me for a long time, you remember when he got him up. As soon as I came out here, he was hiding. And now look how chill he is. He actually even comes up to my hands. He'll get on top of me and everything completely fine. All right, so here is his dish. And I've been getting so many followers. I'm sorry for the loud noise. But let's feed this boy. Gotta clean out his water bowl as well now because he always dirties it. Just like, well, I mean, they all, all the lizards do that. See if she wants to eat this. Oh, he liked it, huh? This isn't something that I feed him often. I, he mo he's mostly on an insect diet. Um, he doesn't want to take pinkies for me. It's stuck on there. You don't have to swallow it, dude. You could easily rip it apart. Just use your claws. Come on. Oh my God, he just wants to swallow it. What a crazy lizard. And this is a black tree monitor. Not sure if I mentioned it. He doesn't have a name. Um, never picked one out. I've named mo uh, most of my monitors after dinosaurs, Rex and Raptor, but he hasn't picked, a, or I haven't picked a name for him because I'm not really sure on a good one. I'm gonna have to pick this up, buddy, because this has dirt on it now. Uh, let's throw this away. Here you go, get a little bit more. And you can see the same thing for the rules for this guy. I wanna let them eat, let them digest it, poop it out, and then when they're skinny again, feed them. Don't put it on the, damn it. Come here, come here. I'm pretty sure that he'll get rid of that dirt by himself. A lot of it already came off. He's about to drop it. There we go. And this lizard, you guys hear the bird in the background? When this lizard always hunts the bird. It's so funny to see him chasing the bird. Obviously in his enclosure, he stays in his enclosure, but he's always chasing the bird around. Yeah, so that's all this one is gonna get. Let me clean out his water bowl. And... All right, let's move this over to get this piece of meat that fell back there. Clean it up, we don't want him eating this. But you're gonna bite me, bro? Hmm? Huh? Look at him. One of my favorite lizards right here. I say that about every single one of them, but yeah, I don't know. The black shoe monitor is so cool looking. Um, I guess he's not really my favorite out of the ones that I have. The Cuban Rocky one is probably the first, then maybe Raptor. I also like the Rhino one a lot, but I'm just gonna let him enjoy those two little pieces. I think I'll give him another small piece, kind of like this much, uh, just so that he could eat a little bit more. This guy looks like a dinosaur, so cool. They look even cooler when they're completely full grown. Kind of the same, they just get a lot bigger, like wider. These guys are very slender monitors because they're fast and they like to climb trees. So they got a long body, long tail, 
their tail is actually um I forgot the exact word for it but they could use it to hold on to things i always see this guy hanging upside down from up here and it's so cool because he hangs his he wraps his tail around and he's hanging upside down and i feed him insects like that sometimes and there he is enjoying the last few bits of it so yeah this is always good for them fattens them up a bit if needed gives them the meat uh the protein it gives them the eggs and the calcium that they need and the calcium is probably the, the worst part for him because like i said he doesn't want to take mice so i do have to give him actual supplement calcium uh, like the dust on the insects and things like that because um mice he does not like too much i always like to be as natural as possible with the animals as i can i like giving them either eggshells mice uh some types of bones for them to eat like that uh, sometimes cuddle bone i don't really like using the supplements and things like that Well, yep, that's it for today's meal for this guy. Now the last one, the Savannah Monitor. All right, so there we go. We got some fresh water for him. Wrap this in his water right now. I'm gonna change it later, but it's not too dirty right now. Just a little bit of mulch there. And wait a minute, it has a good amount. It looks kind of low, uh, but I'll add probably a few more inches as well because it did dry up. All right, before I feed the water, or the Savannah Monitor, which is right there, let me show you guys uh why he's already outdoors and the other ones are not so think of the inside of my house kind of like a nursery that's where i keep the smaller lizards um because look this guy now when i put him down you guys have probably seen my videos like whenever he's in a video i let him walk around the yard i take him to my friend's house he walks around the redfoot and, uh, tortoise enclosure this lizard completely chill i have no worries at all that he would escape from me he's completely chill super tame he will pretty much let me do whatever I want to him. He does get spooked, obviously, when I lift up the, the hide too fast or something like that. But um, same thing for these little guys right here. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you usually see my feeding videos or my stories. They're always on top of me walking around. No problems at all. But let's feed this guy and end the video there. All right, so I'm actually going to feed this outside of the enclosure. I filled up the egg with the beef. Uh, but I'm going to feed it outside so that it doesn't make as much of a mess. Probably going to bring that thing over here, actually, and feed it on top of that. All right, here you go. Oh, you just got the egg show. I don't know how good of an idea this was, actually. But we'll see. Let's let him figure it out. He's the one eating, so... You did not grab a single thing there, buddy. Yeah, just go for smaller bites. That would be a lot easier for you to eat than the whole bite that you tried to go for in the beginning. And if he turns his head, it's going to be even easier. These lizards are so cool. There's always a lot of noise in my house because you know, Clyde over here wants to get out. Come on, dude, you don't like beef. You gotta be eating fruits and vegetables and grasses and flowers, right? And I feed him Missouri to his diet as well. You like that? Oh, we almost missed him playing with the egg. Aww. You know what? I should feed them in the future. Some quail eggs. I've seen people do that. And that's pretty cool to see them eat it. So the eggshell is good for calcium. And I've... <laughs> it's going to be a little weird, but... Uh, people ask me if I if the shell is safe for them to eat. It is, um, and I've actually ate it myself, um, just because I wanted to see what the difference was. I boiled an egg and I just ate it with the egg shell. And other than being super crunchy, doesn't taste any different at all. It's the same exact thing as a regular egg, just very crunchy. 
kind of feels like if you have a lot of salt that adds absolutely no flavor to it that's kind of what it feels like and i didn't do that for a video or anything i just did it because i wanted to because i'm weird like that but here you go a little bit more of this paste and that's gonna be it for today because i don't want to overfeed these uh, too much meat the water monitor is the one that's good to eat this um, but these insect eaters don't want to do it too much these guys could get uh fatty liver disease and things like that which is no bueno for them yeah. this lizard has beautiful colors when it's sunny out uh, right now she's like in the middle she's not dark but she's not as bright as she is sometimes I, sometimes i come out here she's completely yellow and it's the coolest thing to see that's something that you would never see if you kept your animals inside you know when you bring them outside you really see their full potential um well obviously in florida because if uh you put them in georgia or not georgia but if you put them let's say in like montana or minnesota or something it's not gonna be the same thing they're gonna uh be a lot colder i don't really know the temperature up there i'm pretty sure it gets warm during those summers but Florida is the best place for these guys. They stay warm year round. They got the humidity uh, just where they want it. Um, yeah, great. Yeah, I'm just gonna let this guy finish and enjoy his meal. And the rest I'll probably feed to the yellowfoot tortoises because they could eat more protein uh, than other tortoises. So here are my yellowfoots and this is the first time ever that I come out here and the water doesn't look like a chocolate milkshake because they shit so much in this water it's crazy they love being in the water but i cleaned it out um yesterday afternoon i think around two maybe and it's clear right now so that's great and obviously these leaves make the water uh tan if uh they stay in here too long but i i try to clean the water every day um if it's clean like this i do it every other day sometimes um but just depends how dirty it is and yeah let's get these guys feasting on this beef so here they are the yellow foot tortoises these guys have started to get a lot more used to me uh these are probably most likely every single adult that i have imported from the wild but that's becoming illegal now so that's a good thing and i'm glad that i have a small little uh colony here in captivity that i'll be able to breed these guys and uh these tortoises are very hard to breed um, so there a lot of them are in captive bred um, But I am going to be producing some babies. I already got eggs and some of them look fertile So very cool to be able to be one of the few people to produce captive born uh, Yellowfoot tortoises uh, doesn't look like they're too interested in this meat right now and these tortoises are um, from the Amazon and they actually do eat uh dead animals sometimes they're they're not like hunters obviously but they do scavenge they'll eat worms and uh dead animals that they find who knows maybe one of these have even a, a monkey maybe a caiman or something that they found dead uh walking around so it's really cool um and tortoises you know like i said wild animals uh something that you don't really want to take out of captivity but whether i bought these or not they would have still been uh been uh wild caught and i i didn't uh, order them from the wild obviously but uh, these were from other breeders that didn't want them anymore and they had been in captivity for a long time already established um so there's no worries about parasites or anything like that they've been long-term captives so that's pretty cool and these just left and i don't know if you guys saw me setting up this enclosure how i had it so nice and foresty well it looks more like a desert now because these guys devoured everything and they did cut the grass um which i didn't want them to do the landscapers they cut it which sucks but whatever so yeah i'm just gonna leave that meat there it's not too interesting to see the tortoises eat meat and i don't really feel like sitting around here my phone's about to die so i'm gonna go back inside i hope you guys enjoyed me feeding all the monitors since this was a 30 minute video here's a sneak peek to the next video possibly the next video video at least i'm not sure yet but um we upgraded the crayfish larry the lobster's tank so make sure you guys stick around for that and if you stuck around this long make sure you let me know in the comments say um i love larry the lobster or something like that just say something with larry the lobster um in the comments you guys can mix it up so that you know people don't get suspicious about it but um yeah thank you guys for watching thank you if you stuck around this long because 30 minutes is a long time it was a long video 
And while I was watching the edits, I'm surprised how much I talked in this video. I did not stop talking since the video started. Um, I know like in the beginning, I didn't have too much energy, but I, I just started rolling after that. And I just kept talking. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments if you want me to continue doing these Shadows Kitchens video. I already did some with the tortoises and the iguanas. Now the monitors, maybe I could do some with the, or the snakes. Not sure how I'll do that since they only eat uh, rats, but I'll figure something out. So you guys let me know in the comments if you want to see more. I'm going to be trying to do some more unique videos like this. And yeah, make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed. Dislike if you didn't. Subscribe, turn on post notifications, and have a great day.